little bit of a change of pace today. We're going to talk about a shutoff valve that you might have if you have a pool or even just some plumbing as far as a standard size shutoff valve. Uh, my problem is, is this is fiberglass, this is fiberglass reinforced, and this is. And sometimes when I reach in there for that little black valve, some are red, this one here happens to be uh, black, I get an armful of uh, fiberglass. The other thing is, um, as these age, they get kind of stiff and can be a pain in the butt to go ahead and turn on and off. But if you have something like this, removable T-handle shutoff valve assistant <laughs> extension handle, this works really well to be able to turn it on and off. You don't have to, again, hit this. It gives leverage if someone is older. They got uh, sore joints, sore back, or God forbid if their wrists have carpal tunnel, you can put this on and use this uh, T-handle to go ahead and turn that on and off. So we're going to talk about this here, and I'm going to show you guys how to make this. So this is the T-handle I came up with. Of course, you can always make it longer or shorter, whatever you want to do. Mine just happens to be about, oh, what are we looking at, 20 and a half inches. And the dowel that I use here, I just happen to have a spear piece laying around. So that looks like it's about 7 eighths outside diameter. This one here that perfectly fits that valve is... That's an inch and a half. So you get an inch and a half pipe, which always means the inside diameter, inch and a half. It can be schedule 40 or schedule 80, whichever one you want to go with. That means the thickness of the pipe. Uh, to hold it into place from sliding, I just drilled a couple holes, put a couple of uh, small pieces of dowel in there, glued them into place with a waterproof glue. That holds the T-handle in. I didn't want to use screws or something like that for rusting or eventually cutting its way into the PVC pipe. Down here, what seems to work pretty good. All right, let's see here. Looks like I used about uh, a quarter inch. So I measured up a quarter inch. I went up about, oh, let's see here, an inch and a half to the top. And what you want to do is you want to drill a round hole. If you just leave it square, it's going to have fracture points on the, co on the corners. So if you put any stress on this, it can basically just crack and come off. If you use a circle, the way that that works, it spreads the load down, allows us to slightly flex without actually rupturing or breaking anything. So that's what I did. So again, roughly about uh, a quarter an inch. That allows it to slide over the wings of that uh, shutoff valve. Just a little round hole here. I just went slightly bigger than a quarter inch. And again, you can go as high as you want. I just only needed about an inch and a half at the very top of that hole. So that, along with this, and the dowel and everything else, it's actually pretty cool, pretty easy. Slide it on, just give it a turn left or right, depending on how you're situated. Lots of leverage. Don't have to hurt your back, your wrists, or anything else. And uh, it works great. Costs hardly anything. You can go to Home Depot, Lowe's. Um, I was lucky. I just happened to have a piece of uh, inch and a half pipe left over. I think that's why I did the length of this. That's all I had for a piece, but it's fine. Again, your dowel, you can use anything. I just like using a, w a wooden dowel. All right, so that's it. Nice and easy to build, fairly inexpensive. Didn't take that long to go ahead and cut it and drill this and cut it out and all that. I used just a little bit of a hacksaw blade here and then cleaned it up with a knife, the edges and stuff, just to drill. And uh, it worked out great. So that's, uh, that's it for this video. Again, no working on one of the vehicles, just a change of pace. So subscribe, hit like, or hit that little bell notification for future content. That'll keep the logarithms going on my channel. I can get this out to more people.